So everyone thought I was crazy when I was making those videos complaining out in public basically of why Apple wasn't supporting the iPhone 10 for that replacement of the whole entire device and I made a whole separate video talking about it but now it looks like they actually went ahead and reversed their stance on this. So this article from Mac Rumors, they state, Apple now is offering Face ID repairs for iPhone 10 without replacing the entire device. Now this was a really cool update that came out, I think about like a month and a half or two months ago. And essentially what happened was the iPhone XS and newer were able to basically fall under this, you know, replacement guide. But for some reason, the iPhone 10 was not. And I didn't understand why. It still doesn't make any sense why they did this. And it looks like, I guess, so many people either complained about it or possibly they knew this was the right thing to do. They actually went ahead and fixed this and updated it, which is so awesome. So reading through this article, it says Apple has expanded its program that allows customers to get their face D system repaired without replacing the entire iPhone 10. They say according to a memo seen by Mac rumors, the iPhone 10 was initially excluded from the list of for this program. So now it looks like the iPhone 10 is now included here. Now what does this mean? Well, personally, I think this is awesome because this is showcasing that possibly if people are complaining and if people don't like, you know, the iPhone, you know, certain way or whatever, that Apple will probably listen. And for something like an iPhone 10 that has been out for several years now, maybe Apple thought that there weren't a ton of people who were using this iPhone anymore. And maybe that's why they kind of went ahead and, you know, chose that direction. But then again, it's almost falling under that like planned obsolescence thing where it honestly makes absolutely no sense why Face ID couldn't have been repaired in the first place. Personally, I've actually seen a lot of iPhone 10s, 10s's, and I do think iPhone 11s, but mostly the iPhone 10, 10Rs, and 10s's on eBay and different websites with broken Face IDs. And as long as they're still, you know, not stolen or don't have any water damage or anything, you can actually go ahead and you should be able to go ahead and fix those devices. So now if you have an iPhone and it, you know, for some reason Face ID isn't working, pretty much any iPhone that has Face ID can now be repaired without having to replace the entire device. So it should be substantially cheaper to replace, you know, Face ID and everything, which is so cool. It should take less tools, less parts, less time as well, which is awesome. But like I mentioned, I think the biggest thing here is that if enough people rally and if they are are, you know truly feeling like Apple may be doing something weird or they're not super happy about it well you know it looks like a public opinion is super important right now and we saw this as well with Samsung the GOS little game slowdown thing that they were doing has now you know been apparent to a lot of people a lot of people complained about it and they went ahead and changed their ways and I think this is a really big thing so we as consumers if we don't like how certain things are going I guess we have the right to fix it but definitely without a doubt I love something like this and I'm so happy that the iPhone 10 has now fallen under this specific category of replacement. So that kind of covers it. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.